Hey everybody, just getting the last finishing touches going. Uh, let me know how I sound. How is the audio? Um, I'll be on in just a second. I'm just getting the giveaway stuff going. Uh, and I hope you guys like the background music. We got a, um, a record label called Clover Records is uh, letting us use their music, their lo-fi music today. Uh, so yeah, check them out. There's a link in the description. And I'll be on in just a sec. Okay, bye. Okay, and Jimbo says bye, hi, bye too. All right. Hey, everybody. What do you think of that music? It's pretty chill, right? Mm, chill. Yeah. Great. All right. Well, hey, everybody. I'm so sorry it took me so long to get set up. Uh, I forgot last second that we needed, um, I needed some cardboard for this pattern, uh, but we'll get to that in a second. Hi, everybody. Hope your week is going great. Uh, we got a pretty cool uh, crochet along today. It might take a second, but uh, eh, that'll be great. That'll be fine. God, I love this music. It's so chill. I think I'm gonna do like a lo-fi um, like video with this music too, because it's just so chill. All right, let's talk about what we're making today because we gotta get hooking. We got a lot of crochet to do today. I don't know if we're gonna finish it, but I really would like to finish it. All right, so today we're gonna be crocheting in well, a carnivorous alien plant is what we're calling it, but I think you know what it is. 
Uh, if you've seen the um, Halloween movies, you know, Little Shop of Horrors maybe, you might have seen this little dude before. It is a crazy cool pattern, and today we are going to be making it uh, live on screen. Now, there's a lot of different parts, moving parts here, so that's why I'm like, I don't know if we'll finish it today, but I really, really would like to finish it today. Um, hello to the chat, by the way. I'll get to you guys soon. Hey, Casey. Hey, Johnny. Hey, Aquatic Luna. Cooper. Hello, everybody. Okay, well, first, let's talk about what you need for this pattern if you want to crochet it along with me, and then how you can support this channel, and then we'll just get into crocheting and hanging out and talking and uh, doing little dances every now and then. Okay, so first off, what you need for this pattern if you want to crochet it along with me. First thing you're gonna need is the pattern itself. Now I put a link right here to where the pattern is. It's also in the description. You can find it at clubcrochet.com slash Audrey, right there. Um, there's a link in the description as well. This pattern and the crochet kit are on sale today. I think it's 15% off for the kit and 25% off for the pattern. So it's a pretty decent deal for today. Um, it's gonna be today and over the weekend. Um, we're also doing a giveaway today, but I'll talk to you about that a little bit more later. Let's talk about what you need to crochet along with me if you maybe have all the materials at home. There's a lot of different materials in this, which is why this crochet kit I think is really, really cool because there's just like it comes with everything that you need in the exact sizes and stuff like that. You know, like all the kits, but this one especially because it's got seven different colors included and it comes with the pot. Um, so first you're gonna need the yarn. Now I'm gonna be using all worsted weight yarn in 100% cotton, as I usually do. It's my favorite kind of yarn to use for my amigurumi projects. Um, for this project, you're going to need the following colors. Now I'm using a lot of different colors here and you can mix and match, of course. But for the main color of the top of the head, we've got our light green, we've got our dark pine green, and that's gonna be for the uh, leaves and the vines and all that fun stuff. We got purple, that's gonna be for the inside of the mouth. A little bit of pink for the tongue, some white, that's going to be for all of our little teeth, some orange, that's going to be for the lips, and then we need some brown for the pot insert. You also need a little tiny pot for this, but you actually don't need a little tiny pot, and I'll explain that a little bit later. We're going to make ours onto a needle that you can put into uh, whatever you want. So you can put it into a crocheted piece, you can put it into a garden, or into a pot of uh, plants that you already have. Now, this pot is actually uh, way smaller than the normal pots that we get. We normally get them, or the, the ones in the kits are a little bit bigger than that. Oh, actually, no. They are about the same size. Look at that. Huh, I thought they were bigger than that. It looks so tiny here. But today, I thought maybe we could uh, switch it up and do something with a little bit larger of a pot. So what I'm gonna be doing today is I went over to the store yesterday and I got this beautiful, look at how cute, it's just got ivy uh, in it. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna repurpose this pot and we're gonna repot this ivy into something else afterwards um, so we can you know, still have that. But what we're gonna do, let's go ahead and put this other pot aside, is we're gonna take this plant out like that. We might wanna wash this out a little bit. But we're gonna repurpose this pot for this, put that right there, for this project. We're going to do um, a fun, I have a fun idea where we're gonna make it basically a hidden component where you're gonna, we're gonna have our Audrey 2 on the top and then if you pick the Audrey 2 up, it'll be open and a little kind of hiding space where we can put other stuff uh, under it. And uh, it'll just be like a little storage thing with a, that'll look like a, just a little potted plant. I thought it would be kind of fun. So to do this, you're gonna need a slightly larger pot, of course. And you're going to need some cardboard that we're gonna cut out to be the shape of the pot. And then we're going to put a little thing on the inside to keep it sealed in there. Hopefully we can finish this all today. I don't know if we're going to, but we're gonna try. We're going to try because I want to. <laughs> For our crochet hook, we're gonna be using a size G, a four millimeter crochet hook for this video. You'll need a pair of scissors, a darning needle, and a little bit of stuffing. Okay, so that's everything that you need to crochet this. Go ahead and grab that if you'd like to. Let's talk about how you can support this channel and then how you can uh, possibly win a free crochet kit, maybe? Let's see. Okay, so 
First off, how you can support this channel. The best, easiest, cheapest way to support this channel is just like this video down below. Like the video, subscribe to the channel. If this video gets another 300 likes, we got 300 likes last video. If we get another 300, we'll continue this giveaway train. We'll do another giveaway next live stream. So we've got, done at least three live streams in a row where we've done giveaways. So get this 300 likes, we'll do another giveaway. If you wanna support this channel monetarily, and probably this is actually the best way to support this channel is with a Club Crochet membership. Members get early access to future patterns. They get access to the full library of tutorials that come out with new ones every few weeks. Uh, there's over 200. I think we're encroaching 300 now. And uh, you can even get kits mailed to your door with all the materials that you need to make whatever we're making each month. This month's kit was for a little tiny crocheted pumpkin. It's so cool. It's 100% wool and it's actually too late for you to sign up for this kit. I am gonna have these in the shop um, by the end of the weekend, so if you want to purchase extra kits, we will have some in the shop. It does come with eyes and a mouth and all that other stuff. But if you wanna sign up for a Club Crochet Pro membership now, uh, we are, I'll show you, I'll give you a little sneak peek at what we're gonna get next month. Next month is our Burb Day. It's a Club Crochet's fifth birthday, how cool is that? So what we're gonna be doing is we're going to be crocheting burbs. And here's one of them. So you're gonna get the decision between, uh, I think two, maybe three, but probably two different burbs. Uh, them being a macaw, we're gonna do a hummingbird, and then the other one is maybe we're gonna do a turkey, at least like as an option of what you can choose to crochet. Uh, it's gonna be really cool. Sign up for a pro membership now. You have until the end of the month to sign up. Uh, it's $15 for your first month of Club, Club Crochet Pro membership, and it comes with all the materials that you need to crochet it. We're gonna be making a bunch of burbs next month though. November is our burb month, and I love it that way. Okay, so we're gonna put that to the side. We also have merch and kits in the store. Like I said, this kit actually is on sale today, uh, so go check that out. Okay, also, um, we're doing a giveaway today. That's right. It's kind of like a secret giveaway. Um, so what I did was I posted a new post on Instagram. I put a link in the description of this video and it's at the top of the chat. All you need to do is go to that Instagram post and comment with an emoji of a flower. Any flower emoji. I think there's like five or six different kinds of flower emojis. Comment with a flower emoji and I'm gonna choose someone at random at the end of the weekend and we're going to give them a free crochet kit to, or a free gift card so they can purchase any crochet kit with enough to purchase the Audrey 2 crochet kit. So it's a kind of cool giveaway. I thought, you know, let's mix things up and do it a little differently today. Go sign up there. Uh, and yeah, I think that's everything that I needed to say. I know, it was quite a spiel, quite a spiel. Let's, um, I think let's get hooking. Oh, wait, wait, wait. There is one more way to support. I totally forgot. You can also support by tipping. If you want to just give me money, I would appreciate it. It would be really cool. And we actually have one tipper already. Cooper. And if you tip, we're going to take a monster. Today, today we're choosing monsters. I think that's a good idea. Today we are choosing monsters. So Cooper, you get the choice. You get the choice between three different monsters that we're gonna add to our uh, what's this called? Our shelf of crochet of Amy Groomy. We need to we need to name it something. Our shelf of something. I don't know. You get to choose between three different ones, and you get to name it also. And we're gonna put a little name tag out for you. They each got name tags. So your choices between oops. This little fella, I call this a dust bunny, which you get to name. He's got a little funny bunny tail. Uh, this is a long, like, a long time ago I made this. So you get to choose between that one, the insomnable snowman, poor little snow monster that can't sleep. Again, you get to name it. And then this big fella, which I love him. He's so cute. I have no idea what he is but he's very, very cute. And uh, same deal, you get to name him. So let me know which one you want and I will put it up onto the shelf and add your name and all that fun stuff. But while you're choosing that, let's get crocheting because Cooper takes his time with choosing. You know, he, he's gotta think about it. He's gotta think about it and I respect that. 
Okay, so we are gonna start by crocheting. Let's start by making the mouth halves. I think that's gonna be what we're gonna start with. Oh, let me give you a, a little lowdown really quick of how to comment, or like the comments and stuff. Let's see if anybody's already commented. So this is the post that we that you want to, uh, you just wanna like it and comment down below. I actually don't think we have any comments yet, but comment on this one with a flower emoji. It's on the Club Crochet Instagram. Cool, cool. All right. Dang, guys, that was a pretty succinct spiel, I have to say. I'm pretty... I th That absolutely counts, Jack. You can put all the flower emojis. Extra points for extra flower emojis. <laughs> Johnny! Okay, Johnny, first off, Johnny, thank you so much for your support. I'm going to put out a ghost for you. Also, we're gonna put out this little, yeah, let's go with this little grumpy ghost. Here, we're gonna put this out for Johnny. She uh, she tipped in the um, chat. If you tip for, in, in the chat, we'll put a little thing on screen too, a little Halloween thing. Johnny actually was working on a skull pattern, which I was, I've been trying to get onto the website this month. I really, really want to get it onto the website, like to, you know, support Johnny and stuff. But she she uh, released it herself as well. Go check it out. She put it in the Discord channel. If you haven't checked it out yet, we do have a Discord channel that is very cool, um, which we have links to in the description as well. Uh, but she put her skull pattern there. It's very large. It's a very large skull. I mean, compared to my little miniature skulls, it's, it's a big one. Um... Sunshine, if you don't have an Instagram, what if you don't have an Instagram for the giveaway? Unfortunately, I think you gotta kind of dodge this. I, well, hmm, I, I, I don't, I don't know how to fix the that. I don't know how to fix that. I tried. I was just trying to do something a little fun and different this giveaway, but I actually didn't think about like what if you didn't have an Instagram account. Sorry. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how to fix that, and I'm sorry about that. Maybe someone, you know what? I'll tell you what, I'll make you a deal. If someone in the chat wants to comment for you and just say like, this comment is for Sunshine or this comment is for Virginia and then put the emojis, I'll count that um, as your, uh, your, you know, insert into the giveaway. And they can comment for themselves as well. That's like a good, you know, that's, I feel like that'll, maybe work. I really didn't think about that because I'm a ding dong and I just wasn't thinking right. So I'm sorry about that. Um, I, by the way, I am not going to be going through the crochet pattern for this because there is a crochet pattern for this all and it has a full video tutorial that I've already made. So if you want that, again, links for where you find the crochet pattern. Uh, and get the crochet kit are in the description of this video. And it's a great way to support this channel if you'd like to. It's a really, really good crochet kit. And uh, yeah, it would it would be very cool and a great way to support the channel. Okay. Emily, Emily has a good question. Emily asked, are wool winder thingies any good? I was watching a video about one and it looked like you couldn't fit much wool into a cake. For example, you could get like a hundred grams of super bulky into, could you get 100 grams of super bulky into one cake? That is a good question, Emily. Um, so there are different types of ball winders. We have, I use this like pretty small ball winder. Here, I'll show you. This is the ball winder that I use. You just, you know, turn it. Now I did 3D print a different ball winder attachment. Usually it's bigger than this so that you could you know add more yarn but i got uh, i have a little tiny one so that i can make little tiny balls of yarn like this so it makes like really small ones um but you can get bigger ones as well uh i think they work great you would not be able to get that much bulky yarn on there because it's not really designed for bulky yarn it's designed for i would say probably worsted weight yarn or smaller is what it's designed for now there are crochet uh, or there are ball winders out there that are built for um larger you know larger skeins larger types of yarn so that is available and out there if you want to find it i just 
I'm gonna wipe it off with my shirt. Oh no, I got, I got like dirt on the, when I was moving the, there we go, I cleaned it up. I got dirt on the light box when I was dealing with that, uh, that potted plant. <laughs> Oops. All right, so we're continuing to crochet around. I am not keeping track of my, where I'm at at the end of the pattern. So I'm just gonna have to keep an eye on it. But you know what? I feel like every time I do a pattern and just like don't use a stitch marker, I just get better and better at it. So I, th I think I'm getting pretty good at knowing where the ends of rounds are. Only been like oh, way over a decade, but still. <laughs> Let's see, we have one, two, three, and then right here. And then one more right here. All right, so we're gonna have to make two of these mouth halves too. So that's why I'm kind of going a little bit quick today because there's a lot of different pieces to crochet and sew together and yeah. The sewing together is obviously gonna be slightly frustrating. The good thing is there's no like body, there's no like big section that we need to crochet. It's mostly just making these halves of mouths and then a bunch of leaves and teeth. That's like the big part of the uh, crochet. So there's not really like a big body that you need to make. It's mostly just uh, assembly is like the majority of this pattern, to be honest. But it's all right, we're gonna, we're gonna get there. We're gonna make it. Oh, Cooper, thank you so much, Cooper. Cooper says if anybody wants to enter, enter the giveaway but doesn't have an Instagram, they got you all back. They got your back. All right. So see, it kind of makes a slight oval so that the heads are kind of two slight, like half ovals that are put together. I haven't crocheted this pattern since, I think maybe we made one last year, but I can't really remember. Does anybody remember? Do we do a live stream where we crocheted an Andre two last year? I'm not sure if we did. But besides the point, I haven't crocheted this for quite a while. So it'll be fun to like re remember the pattern kind of. One, two. And six. A cat is watching this at work. <laughs> Don't get caught. That's right. Yes, we watched the movie together last year. That's right. I remember now. I remember. By the way, if you don't know what movie that we're talking about, uh, you definitely should check out. Um... Oops. Wait, hold on. I just need to make sure. Was I supposed to do an increase here? No. Okay, got it. You definitely should check out Little Shop of Horrors. It is a very, very good movie. It's, a, it's an older movie. I mean, it's older in the sense of like, you know, it's probably, I think it was made in the 80s. Uh, it is a very good movie and a very good musical too. If you've ever, if you ever get a chance to see the musical live, a lot of, a lot of theater companies actually do it. It's a great musical, highly suggested. Um, okay, wait, we're going to need this green. So we're going to leave a little bit off there like that at least that's what the pattern says and then we're going to do one and two like that okay all right we're getting there one and then 3d here okay See, we're remembering, I mean, kind of, I am reading, but you know, close enough. And then five more, cool. Oh, I remember we did, I remember last year we actually did a giveaway where I did like a game uh, based on the movie. So if you knew facts about the movie, you had a chance at um, at winning. I remember now, that was fun. 
We should do that more. I just didn't have time to set that all up today. Because I was getting this music stuff figured out. I was doing just a bunch of things. Again, if you want to check out the uh, record label that has all this music, uh, I put a link in the description. They were very kind to let us use their music as background music. So shout out to Clover Records. And they were super quick to respond to. I actually think we're going to turn it up just a little bit too. That's pretty good. All right. Is this a pattern on Instagram? No, it is a pattern on the website. Uh, this pattern is way too big for Instagram. In fact, I will say like, I do see a decent amount of people that post like their patterns actually on Instagram as pictures and stuff. I don't really like doing that. And I don't think, I think that makes it way more difficult to crochet the pattern personally, but uh, I don't know. That's just kind of my thing. The, this pattern would be way too big for Instagram. It is a large pattern just because there's like a million different parts to make. And honestly, I, I wouldn't want to leave it up to chance if, if anybody could make it, which is why I do the video tutorial for it. I like to make sure that anybody can crochet it, whether you know what you're doing that much or not. All right. So now I'm on our second to last round, I think. Yeah, that's why I do video tutorials so often is I just don't want to leave anybody hanging, you know? I do a video tutorial for every single pattern for that reason. I just don't want to, like, I want to make it so that regardless of how much you know how to crochet, you can still make whatever we're, whatever we're making. One, two. Turn it up a little bit more? Okay, I can turn it up a little bit more. It seems like it's kind of loud now, but I don't know. Can you hear it? <laughs> you just remember, <laughs> Divine Rose just remembers why they don't have uh, orange juice with pizza. I actually do that all the time because I'm a little gross boy and I love orange juice. I love me some orange juice. Who doesn't though? I mean, come on, orange juice is amazing. Actually, I know who doesn't. My brother doesn't like orange juice because he's a little freak. He's a little weirdo, he doesn't like orange juice. He doesn't like things that are good. He also, when he eats his cereal, he, um, when he eats his cereal, he uh, pours the milk first, which I think is, uh, I think that should be illegal, but he does what he does. Cheeto puffs and ketchup? Well, actually, maybe. Yeah, I, I would try it. I first, like the first reaction, gut reaction is, ew, what? And then, thinking about it a little bit more I'm like you know what actually maybe that's not that bad <laughs> my dad used to put ketchup on his eggs whatever eggs that he would make he'd make scrambled eggs or over easy and he'd always put ketchup on them and until I was a teenager I was like that is disgusting you are gross and then I was finally like okay you know what I'm just gonna try it and then I tried it and I was like Oh my God, this is so good. No, <laughs> this is illegal. It can't taste good too. But it do, it do taste good. All right, we got one of the mouth halves done. Let's stuff it and then sew it closed. But that's good. One mouth half done. Pretty good. These are the majority of the crochet. Or like, you know, the one with the most rounds, I should say, is the mouth. I think the hard part that, not the hard part, but the tedious part is making like the teeth and the, um, maybe the leaves. The leaves are kind of fun though. But the teeth are just like, you gotta make a bunch of them. And they're tiny and just consistently. Oh man, I gotta make more teeth. 
But it shouldn't take that long. I think the sewing together is where it really takes time. Who else is crocheting today? Anybody making anything fun? What you guys making today? And how has your guys' week been? Anything? Anybody have big a big event that happened this week? Anybody get married? Anybody have a baby? <laughs> Anybody buy way too much yarn? How was your week? Mine was pretty good. Yesterday we talked to uh, a company that's gonna help us get our crochet kits maybe made better. We'll see, we'll see. It's exciting. Working on the website a bunch trying to get a new system on the website for adding patterns so that it's way easy for us to add patterns. I'm really excited about it. I've been wanting to get it done for a while, so I'm pretty excited that we're coming to the last bits of it. Aquatic Luna is crocheting cat dog. Very cute. I'm, I love that show. Jack is making a tiny ghost. Hey, that reminds me. If you didn't know, we have a crochet challenge going on right now for, sorry, I had to, I threw the yarn on the ground because I'm a dingus. Um, we have a crochet challenge going on right now. You have to crochet a ghost and post a picture. I put all the information at clubcrochet.com slash challenge. You have until the 27th of October to submit. And if you win, you win a gift card to the Club Crochet store. So it's kind of cool. Um, you get to crochet any kind of ghost. We have a bunch of ghost patterns on the website, but you can also uh, make your own ghost or uh, just, you know, do whatever you want. It, it's, it's open to um, interpretation. So feel free to do whatever you want. We're gonna choose our top four favorite posts and uh, the community is gonna vote on them. And then whoever wins the most votes wins the, uh, wins the giveaway. So it's a cool little, little crochet challenge. I'm really excited about it. I'm really excited to see what people have been making. Uh, and you have all month to make something. So get crocheting. Jack, if you finish up that little tiny ghost, just post a picture. Make a good picture of it. Maybe give it a little outfit. I mean, that might give you a, a better shot. I don't know. But feel free to just submit it. I'm excited to see it. I want to see what kind of ghosts people make. I want to see ones with weird, goofy faces or funny little outfits. If you can make me laugh, extra points. If you can make me cry, super points. And quick shout out to Cooper. Thank you, Cooper, for posting that in the chat. That is uh, the Club Crochet Challenge. You just put it in the chat. Again, that's clubcrochet.com slash challenge. Challenge, the challenge is on. Melissa, Melissa says, Hello, I'm new to crochet and having a difficult and having difficulty doing it. I'm struggling with tension and holding and pulling through and keeping it tight. Okay, Melissa, here is my question for you. Are you having uh, is your difficulty in holding the yarn too too tight or too loose? I think you're saying that it's too loose that you're um I think you're saying you're having a difficulty keeping the yarn tight. Now there's a few different things you can do to help your um, uh, how how tightly you crochet your your gauge is what they call it the finished uh, thing. So this is called your gauge. It's how many stitches and how many rows per uh, per uh, how per inch uh, or per centimeter, however you want to measure it. But that's a good way to measure like how your gauge is. Um, usually patterns come with a little description that say like this pattern ha is you know i i mine is mana usually four inches and five rounds per inch i think so it's pretty small 
Um, now, the quick, uh, the few, a few quick ways for how to help you uh, control your tension a little bit better. Uh, first way is how you hold the yarn with your non-dominant hand. So for me, that's of course my left hand. My, the way I hold the yarn personally is I hold it like this, three fingers holding the yarn in so I can keep a grip on it. And then this last finger so it can go over the finger or so I can have these two pinchers open so that I can just kind of like maneuver. I can hold onto the piece and have the yarn go over, stuff like that. If you want a tighter tension, this is a pretty loose tension. This is because I have a lot of control over how tightly I want to hold the yarn because I've been doing it for a long time. If you're a beginner and you want more control, like, uh, or less like wiggle room there, try weaving the yarn in and out of your fingers like this with the end of it, the last bit going over your index finger. That helps. Some people really like to like go around fingers then through and over like that. That helps a lot too. Um, this helps just control your tension a lot more. That is one option that'll help you get it a little bit tighter. Try using a smaller crochet hook, one that you can still uh, control, like hook the yarn and you're not accidentally like pulling through half of the yarn that will crochet your stuff a little bit tighter. Um, but the big thing is don't get too tight. Don't, uh, don't crochet too tightly because the tight, if you crochet it really tightly, it's going to be really hard to come back and crochet into that. And it's also going to hurt your hands a lot to crochet that tightly. So try not to overdo it. Um, and try, just try a few different techniques. The best way to get better. And I know this is not going to be a, the answer that you want. But the best way to get better at, at crocheting with tension is uh, to um, keep going, keep crocheting. Try using bulkier yarn uh, at, at, for your projects right now. That'll help you just get the idea of how to crochet a lot more, which will give you the confidence to hold your tension a little bit tighter. So maybe try not crocheting with like worsted weight yarn which is what I normally use for my crochet, try to maybe use like bulky yarn or something like that. That might help you out a lot. I hope that helps. Uh, let me know if uh, you have any other questions about that or want any clarity. And to everybody in the chat, let me know if you have any questions about crochet. I am here to help. That's kind of like, that's like part of the point. <laughs> the other part is just hanging out with you guys and, and talking and, and crocheting something with you. Ooh, okay. Uh, do, do, do. You, Yvonne has trouble with joining colors in the round without a step in the pattern. Okay. Now that actually is something I definitely can help with. And not only can I help with that, but I am about to change colors in my pattern so I can show you the way that I like to do it. Um, and I'll take you one step at a time. Now, as someone said in the chat, I do have a video tutorial where I do teach you like how to do that uh, a lot in with like a lot more detail. Let me make sure I, that I'm on track, by the way. I don't want to mess this up. I think I'm like right here. One, two, three, and then yes. And then six after that. that was one, two, three, four, five, great. Six and then three increases. But I'll get to that part of my pattern in just a sec where I change colors and I will zoom in and give you some detailed instructions for that. No worries, Melissa. Yes, yeah, seriously, if you have any questions like that or want any um, clarity or anything, just let me know. It's fun to figure it out for myself as well to like really think about, okay, wait, how do I do these kinds of things? Because sometimes I don't even think about it, I just do it. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm at the part where this next stitch is my last, let me zoom in here. That's a, that's a nice zoom in. Yeah, that looks great. Okay, so this next stitch is my last stitch in green and I'm gonna change over now to my pink yarn because we wanna do like basically the gums. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with my green yarn and I'm going to basically halfway do a single crochet. So I'm gonna go into the next stitch, pull a loop through it like that, just like that. Now I'm gonna take my color that I wanna to change to, which is pink. I'm gonna place the yarn, the tail end of the yarn, in between the two loops that are on the hook. 
and the end that's attached to the ball of yarn, that's gonna be this end here. This little end we're actually gonna cut so you don't have to think about it. Okay, so once you have it in between those yarns, you wanna take your index finger of your dominant hand and pinch it down, hold the loose end down like that. And then with your uh, non-dominant index finger, you're gonna go in between the two colors and flip the new color under the old color like that. Then yarn over with the new color and just pull it through the two loops on the hook. One, two, like that. And then pull this first color a little bit tighter to make the crochet stitch look great. And now normally, I, I usually like to crochet around this just for one round or one stitch just to like keep it locked in. But for this pattern, I actually don't wanna do that because I'm gonna use this for sewing our piece together. So I'm just gonna cut it pretty long, like that long, because I'm gonna need it. I'm gonna place it on the outside because that's where I want it to be. And then I'm gonna continue on using our pink yarn. Now I'm consistently holding down the, the tail end for this first stitch, just so that it keeps its um, the loop at the same tightness and I don't accidentally pull it through. Because if I pull this really tight, it will pull this loop through. But once I get a stitch going, it should be fine. Now this next part of this pattern is working only in the back loops. So I'm gonna crochet only in the back loop with that. But once I got one stitch, I'm good to go. And that's how I like to change colors uh, when working in the round with uh, single crochets. Hope that helps. Let me know if you got any questions. All right. Okay, next up we're doing the continuing in pink. We want two single crochets here, so that is the end of the round. Okay, now we can keep going three and then decrease. All right, Johnny has a good question in the chat. Really good question. So Johnny is working on a, a pattern right now where she made a skull and she made a little garter snake that like is swimming through the skulls, you know, like the holes in the skull. It is super cool and honestly a pretty detailed pattern. Their question is that their pattern is not worth, like people have mentioned that it's not worth the $5 that she's charging for it uh, and they didn't even buy it. What is my thoughts on the price? My thoughts on the price is that that is completely reasonable price for a crochet pattern. Um, you're ta we're talking about a project that not only is gonna get like take a few hours for someone to make, but also it is going to be, um, they'll have it forever and they'll continuously be able to make more of these. Uh, I don't know what your policy on selling stuff is, but you'll prob they probably could sell it so they can make money off of it too. And $5 is nothing. That's like the price of a coffee now. Like that's, that's nothing. I think that's completely a reasonable price for your patterns. Uh, and I think that your option, you have basically two options when it comes to that. Well, I guess you have three. Option one is you keep it at five dollars, or you keep it at five dollars, and let's say you make like over over a month, you make like ten sales. That's fifty dollars that you made in those sales. But you could have made more sales if you made it cheaper. But to get to the same amount of money you have to make those extra amount of sales, right? So you just have to like kind of do a cost analysis of like where do you make the most money? Like what price point is the best? Because if you do it really cheap, you know, you charge $2 for a pattern, which some of my patterns I do. My new Raptor pattern that just came out is only $2 because it's really short. It's only like three pages long. Um, uh, one second, let me, let me see where I'm at. One, two, three. Five, I need one to do five. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. But um, yeah, so you gotta do like a cost analysis like that where you need to just like figure out what actually is worth it uh, for, for you, for the time that you put into it and how much you could possibly make out of it. My bi biggest advice is do not undersell your pattern. Do not do it. Don't undersell it. If people say, oh, this is so expensive and I will, I'm not even gonna buy it because it's too expensive. They don't know what they're missing. Forget about them. Like they didn't even try. If they bought your pattern and then they try it out and then they say, hey, maybe this is a little bit too expensive for what the pattern is. 
that that might be advice to take into consideration. But if they're not even going to try it, it's five dollars. It's not like you know, it's like a cup of coffee. It's not that big of a deal uh, of a purchase in my mind, especially for something that they're going to take a long time. Uh, you know, that they're going to make a bunch and, and something that you put a lot of time and effort into. I don't know. I personally think that is a completely reasonable price and uh, you shouldn't sell yourself short. You should never sell yourself short. Uh, if you want to take like, if you, if you want to get more sales on that, don't lower the price. Instead, spend more time on the marketing for that pattern. Uh, what do I mean by that? I mean, take your time getting good pictures, take your time uh, making sure that the description is good, uh, advertise, you know, quote unquote advertising it, but posting it on places, posting it on Instagram, sharing it with uh, people you're friends with or fans of. Uh, and yeah, just trying to get the word out a little bit more, I think is, is a better system to have than actively lowering your prices to try to get more sales because I just don't think that it's, that's very fair. Let me know, uh, what do you think about that? What do you, what's your guys' opinion on that? Um, I changed my model a while back to not being, um, basically I got into the, a similar situation where my patterns like I, I was selling them okay. You know, I was selling them here and there a decent amount, but the problem was I just had so many that I kind of started to get, I feel, I felt like I started to give people like a, um, there's a word for it where choice paralysis. That's what I did, uh, where you have so many different choices of what you can crochet that like, it's hard to make that decision of which one to purchase and stuff. So what I did was uh, I created the club crochet membership option so that people could get access to all my patterns uh, with just a simple purchase every month instead, um, which is actually, it, it's cheaper in the long run, definitely to do that than it is to like purchase each one of my patterns individually. So that's what I did. What I'm trying to do with club crochet eventually is, um, and I've kind of been starting to like starting to squeak into this area is I want to make it so that people can um, like people can submit their own patterns to club crochet and we pay them like a certain amount for that pattern but then they can also sell their pattern on their own to make money we're trying to make it into like a like a shop that you can that club crochet or crocheters can do can use to like sell their patterns as well as like maybe like a production house for patterns so we can help you make video tutorials and PDFs for them as well. Um, yeah, basically kind of like a publishing, we're trying to like help with publishing with club crochet or with crochet patterns and stuff in the future. But uh, you know, that's a little bit further out now. We have a lot of plans, a lot of ideas. Let's see, one, one, two, three, four, five, six. I think that's pretty good. All right. What is the ghost challenge? You just got here, sorry. No worries, the ghost challenge is a crochet challenge where you crochet a ghost, uh, any kind of ghost that you want. It can be your pattern, it can be one of my patterns. Um, and you post a picture. Uh, we, you can post a picture on Instagram, on Discord, or on the subreddit. There, those are your three options. We're gonna choose our four favorite pictures and the community is going to vote on their favorite out of those four, and then the winner will win a Club Crochet gift card. It's also just a nice way to share your work with, with other like-minded crocheters and stuff. Um, I put all the links at clubcrochet.com slash challenge. So that is all the info for that one. All right, we're almost done with that. But before we finish this, Tina! Tina, thank you so much for your support. Tina says, uh, hope you're doing well. Give Jack Gurgle this money and a hug for me and say hello to Jules and the cats. I will, definitely. So here, buddy, wake up real quick. You got money. <laughs> All right, just real quick though, because uh, I was having a great dream. Uh, oh, it's Tina. Oh, I love Tina. All right, one sec. <laughs> mm. Mid-nap lunch. I love it. Thank you, Tina. All right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.
Yeah, okay, whatever. You love it. You love Jack, don't lie. You love it. You love it. Ooh, Casey's making a ghostly diorama. Wow, going the extra mile. That, I think, honestly, I think that's a really good move. I think, you know, you got, it's a challenge. You gotta up your, up your challenge uh, submission. I don't know what the word is. You know what I'm trying to say. Whatever. By the way, this month I actually planned out my live streams ahead of time. I know, right? Look at Lou making plans and stuff. Wow. I'm growing up. But yeah, so this month uh, we do have all of our live streams planned. Uh, you know, that is as long as I can finish this pattern in this video and I don't have to move things around. But the gist is next week we're making more Halloween patterns. The week after that, we're doing pumpkins. And then after that, we're doing ghosts. And then after that, we're into November. So those are the things. We actually have kits for every single um, uh, uh, live stream that we're doing this month, which is kind of cool. That's like the first, the first time that I've done it that way, where I've actually have kits for every one of them. So I'm pretty excited about that. I feel like I'm actually prepped. Hopefully I can keep this up consistently. Uh, we're doing 38 chains now for the mouth. One, two, five, six, seven, ten. I'll get to your question in a second, Amanda, once I'm done with this so I don't lose count. 13. Nineteen, three, eight, nine, thirty, six, seven, eight. All right, I think that's everything. Let's count them. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Perfect the moon though we and look at this the yarn is per this is why these kits are so great look it's the perfect amount of yarn I mean it's it's a little bit longer than I need probably but it'll work I'll put this to the side we got the mouth halves done we got the lip done uh, next up we got uh, 12 teeth to make quite a lot of teeth let's do it all right so amanda's question is uh 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 uh, uh, uh how do i m start making my own patterns to make my own patterns okay so uh, i mean that that's kind of a loaded question there's a lot of there's a lot of answers that go to that one question um, the first thing is uh, get really good at just like shaping amigurumi and like crocheting in general. Uh, that's going to be really important. Um, but there's, I mean, there's just so much that goes into it. I, I would say draw your patterns. Uh, maybe start by kind of not not actually crocheting your own patterns, but instead like um, what's the word? Like uh, altering other people's patterns that might be a good way to start getting into the idea of actually designing your own stuff. Um, yeah, those are probably good starting points. Uh, and then like test it out a bunch, you know, like make patterns and then try to find people to test your patterns out a lot. Test your own pattern out a lot make sure that everything is written correctly. I mean, the f just do it. Like honestly, that's that's my the true answer is just like start doing it. Start simple, you know, do, make a very simple cartoon drawing and just start making 
like try crocheting it over and over until you can do it right uh just like everything you know if 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 you ask like how do i start playing basketball you start playing basketball and then eventually you get good at basketball because you played it a lot i think that's how pattern writing kind of goes a little bit same thing as drawing and everything like that there is obviously some you need some innate creativity when it comes to making your own patterns up because it needs to you it needs to be your own pattern especially if you're going to sell it like you don't want to use someone else's pattern as like and then sell their pattern so you want to make it your own uh but there is like you know i don't know practice makes perfect i guess Vicky, am I giving away the little carnivore that you're crocheting today? No, actually, we're giving away a kit today, a crochet kit for making your own. Uh, it is basically going to be a gift card to the Club Crochet store. That's enough to buy this crochet kit. So that way you don't have to get this kit. If you want to get a different kit instead, you want to get our dinosaur kit uh, and make some of our new dinosaurs or you want to get the, the ghost kit kit and make some ghosts for halloween stuff like that there's a lot of options in there but that is what the giveaway today is for not actually the thing that i'm making because i real every time i make one of these i treasure them they are so and and they are such these are probably the best gift that i have to give to people on like for like christmas and stuff if i usually give like one of these to someone every christmas because it takes a long time and, it, and i think it's pretty clear that when you make it it's like wow you put a lot of effort and work into this and i appreciate that a lot so i don't know i i basically i don't i want it i want it or i want to give it to like my like like my secret santa this year or something like that you know i want to have i like to have extra options for really elaborate crocheted things that i can give away as gifts <laughs> but honestly, but I want this one. Mine. Amanda, Amanda, you just started crushing. We oh well, okay. So, Amanda, my immediate response then to you, if I didn't realize you had just started crocheting, I would say, uh, crochet a lot of people, a lot of patterns. Uh, before you start getting into designing like give it like I mean there are so many crochet patterns out there some of them are harder than others uh, and you're gonna start to find a style that you really like before you get into the designing your own I think you maybe are a little just getting into it I know the excitement of just getting into a hobby especially this hobby because this hobby is like there's no there's no like end in sight, you know what I mean? Like you can make anything that you want out of crochet. It is so broad of a of a skill. So see what you like before you start to decide that you want to get into designing. Okay, so we have nine. We have three more teeth to make, but thank you for the heads up, Cooper. Cat! Cat says, missed you guys so much, so take my money. <laughs> Oh. Oh, congratulations on your nephew being born. That is so special. And thank you so much for the tip. Let's put something, let's put a little ghost out for you. Actually, you know what? Let's put, let's put a little monster. We'll put, we're gonna put this out for Cat. A little miniature zombie. This is what we're gonna be making next week. Uh, it might not be a zombie. I'm gonna let you guys vote on what you want me to make. We'll probably make two Halloween patterns. I've got like a whole series of these. I call them pod people. They're really simple patterns. They take a lot of color changes to do, but uh, it's pretty much all single crochet and you can make one in about not even 30 minutes. I even have a color chart for all of them. It's really cool. But anyhow, we're gonna be making these next week. And I do have a crochet kit for these zombies if you want to make a zombie as well. We'll just put it right here for you, cat. And by the way, Cooper, you didn't choose. I Did you choose one of your monsters? I need a choice of monster here, and you need to give it a name. Where was I? We're making teeth. We need three more teeth. Uh, 
And then we need to make a tongue. And then we can actually put the head together. Which might take a second, but you know what? Once we have the head together, it all starts to come together really, really quick. So it's kind of cool. Kind of neat. <laughs> Man, I love that energy though. I like, I get that energy so often about not only like things that I crochet, but also just like uh, just different stuff, video games. I, I'm really into Splatoon right now. That's a new game that came out. And I've got that like exciting energy of just like, I want to get so good at this game. So I totally feel that, especially when it comes to different kinds of arts. I'm really, I want to get into 3D printing really bad because I want to start 3D printing my own little eyes for my crochet projects. But I'm so scared because I know I'm going to get obsessed with it. I'm going to like, Blender is free. It's, that's a, that's a, uh, application that you can use to like 3d model and stuff which i'm going to use to like start making just a bunch of different cr things to augment my crochet but i'm just so scared that i'm going to be like oh my god i'm addicted to this now and it's going to take all my <laughs> i i mean like it's an exciting fear you know like it's like oh that's going to be a lot of fun but also yikes on my time one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve all our teeth are done we'll throw that to the ground and let's make a let's make a tongue 3d printing streams on louis loops i love that idea that's a great idea i think that's a great idea i'm also going to start doing uh i know i know i've said this a million times but i really am going to start doing video game live streams very soon three four five six on my louis loops channel so if you want to check that out they'll be sooner or later Get the first, we're gonna single crochet one, and then single crochet two together. I don't know if you can hear, but Jimbo is, he wants he wants to join, he wants to join the live stream. We cannot allow this yet, but we will have Jimbo join us soon. By the way, new Jimbo t-shirts and stickers and pins and stuff, I'm working on it. They will be in uh, on the website soon. that there's a little tongue and then we chain one cut it boom pull it through all right i think we have all the pieces that we need for making the face the head uh we can do the we can do the leaves and stuff but let's take a second sew some of our pieces together um i'm gonna start by sewing together the mouth and then I'll go on and sew the, like, I'll just, let's just start sewing the face together and then we can get working on the leaves and, and adding more detail to it. But I think this will be really nice because we'll get like an idea of where we're going with it. All right, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight stitches to work with, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, wait. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, okay, so we're gonna go into top of this one that and then out this one that should be pretty easy and then we'll just sew all the way across just go all the way across Yeah, I'm thinking like 3D printing horns and like antlers and stuff like that would be really cool. That like get, get you know, just like how eyes get like poked into your piece. Also, I've got, um, I've got a 3D printer downstairs and I've got a uh, like, I want to call it juice, 3D printing juice. I don't, resin juice, I don't know, but it's plant based. So it's actually compostable 3D printing juices, juice, whatever, you get what I'm saying. It seems pretty cool. I'm actually really excited to use it. Uh, I'm just gonna work my way back across this as well to double up the, the seam here. <laughs> Divine Rose. Didn't even know. 
go. And you see how the seam makes it kind of look like more single crochets? It's a really, it's a slick, it's a slick system here. I use it for my uh, new, brand new Raptor pattern, by the way. If you didn't know it, brand spanking new Raptor pattern is on the website. Uh, as of last night. So it is a fresh pattern. Very cool pattern. I highly suggest you check it out. One, two, three, should we do four or three? Let's just do three. So I'm doing a like basically face detail right now. I'm adding basically like little stripes on the top as I sew it together, just so we can have a little bit of additional detail for our piece. Maybe we should do four. Four stripes are only three. One, two. I guess we could do four. I'll just have it coming out right there, and I'll use this other end for the other stripes. four stripes. I'm actually gonna go this. Tighter. Now we got these little stripes on the top. Just some, a little bit of extra detail. Just a little bit. The teeth are very little. Yes. Do I ever find knots in my yarn? Yeah, every now and then you do find knots in yarn. Um, there are a few different ways you can deal with it. One is just like keep crocheting, to just ignore it basically. I honestly think that's probably the best move. Uh, if you are nervous about the knot and you don't want it to like really show up in your pattern, which I get that, um, what you can do is you can cut the yarn and just like add a new strand of yarn like you were changing colors, but you're just changing to the same color. It's a good way to hide it. And then you don't have to worry about the knot. There's a bunch of different options like that. I should do a tutorial where I teach you how to uh, how to get around that stuff. I probably will add more detail on the bottom later, but let's add the mouth first. I think we're gonna start by adding the lips and then we'll move on to the teeth after that. So every time I add these lips, I end up doing it slightly different. If I wanna do it the exact same way as the tutorial, uh, there, I, you know, I would go through the video to do it, but uh, I kinda wanna just, you know, um, figure it out again. I think we're gonna go one. Okay, you know what, let's count. So it'll be one, that'll be the first chain. So one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and then 18 will be that one. We'll go there for the 19, 20 up here. One, two, two, three, three, four, three, five, six, seven, eight, one, three, two, three, 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 four, 35, 36, 37, and then 38. Yeah, perfect, okay. That's how we're gonna do it then. We're gonna start here and come out here. I bet you this is how I actually do do it in the video, but I don't remember. I do not remember. And I think we're gonna go around the back loop like this, of the chain. And then we're gonna start by going into the same one. But yeah, I'm thinking like that. And then we just keep going across. So get through that one, get to the top of this one, and out to the next one like that. That's kind of what I'm thinking. How do you think that will look? I think that's pretty good. That'll give us like an idea. Um, let's pull this first one a little tighter. 
and then go for that. And then when we get to the end, we'll we'll do some like kind of hidden system. Why are there knots? Uh, there's knots in yarn balls usually because like it's a lot. Uh, like if you didn't do knots in yarn balls, you'd probably have like just a lot of waste left over as the manu the manufacturer probably like it's a lot cheaper to do that than just like get rid of an entire ball's worth of almost an entire ball's worth of yarn because there's a knot in the middle of it uh i assume that's probably why but i don't know that little ghost is cute how much is the pattern uh the pattern is actually free that's a totally free tutorial you can find it at clubcrochet.com ghost it's a free tutorial check it out it's actually super cool too. Very beginner friendly. Very beginner friendly. Just a fun pattern. Am I working into the right part of this? Yes, I am. Right? Yes. Yes, 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 yes. I'm gonna close that window also because there is someone blowing leaves right now and I don't like it. One second. <laughs> Problem solved. Problem solved. <laughs> All right. Someone on the mouth. Quick shout out again, if you haven't yet, please like this video, subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed, and if you push the little bell icon, you will be notified whenever we come out with a new video. Great way to support the channel. Please, please like this video, and if we get 300 likes, we're going to do another giveaway um, next live stream. So, you know, you get something out of it too. I'm going to like it too. I'm going to like it also, because I like it too. This is pretty good. Look at that. That looks looking pretty good. It always looks funny before the teeth are sewn on. And then once I add the teeth and the tongue and stuff, I'm like, whoa, look at this guy coming together. It starts to come to life. Okay, Divine Rose, thanks so much for joining. Have a great day at work. Oops. We're going to come out here. All right, that's the top lip. Now we're gonna keep going. Start working on the bottom lip. There. Not right here. Oopsies. I did that. I, I did something wrong. I did something wrong. There we go. I fixed it. This is definitely the most tedious part of this pattern, by the way. But it's kind of like, once you get into the groove of it, it's kind of relaxing. It's kind of like, oh yeah, chill. Chill, baby, chill. Just the, 
the big thing with when you're sewing this mouth on is you really want to keep up the consistency of how you're sewing each one together because if you start to do them differently you know it'll it'll really show on the mouth so you want you want to have a little consistency going Dust bunny. Oh, 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 oh. Sorry, Cooper. Cooper chose the dust bunny. Name is coming next live stream. We're going to put it right here next to uh, Garfunkel. Garfunkel is what he named the Steagle last episode. Last live stream. Got an odd question. Could the teeth be made in a row and just added on? Uh, yes, maybe. Um, you, it could be done. I think, uh, so when I was actually originally designing this pattern, what I did instead of doing all these different teeth that get sewn on is I made it so that it was a row of teeth that you sew like the entire row on. Kind of like how the spines of the, um, of the stegosaurus get sewn onto the side of it if you're familiar with that pattern of mine uh however i realized that when i was sewing it together that it didn't leave a gap between the teeth and a gap between each of the teeth actually makes the teeth look a lot better so i realized in you know and this is why i was saying like you gotta you gotta crochet your pattern a bunch and try a bunch of different things before you release it because you want to make it look the best you want to make it to you want to make it the easiest to make stuff like that and I just found that it was the easiest to make it looked better and uh, and I didn't have to use felt I was also thinking about using felt teeth uh, and I, I usually don't like using felt if I can avoid it just because I don't know I think it's a little bit more fun not to um, so that's why I didn't do that, but you totally can. I, I just, you know, I'm worried about what it ends up looking like, but it's worth a shot. Give it a try. You might like it a lot more. You might like it more. Okay, Johnny, hope you feel better. Thanks for joining. And see you later, Vicky, as well. Thank you guys for joining. We'll be back next Thursday, same time, same place. Uh, but we're going to be making Halloween patterns next week. We're going to be making... I don't know what we're going to be making, honestly. We're, we're going to be leaving that up to you to vote on. We've almost got this lip sewn on, though. Which is pretty cool. Let's see how it's like. Oh, yeah, baby. This also could be a really good pattern to use for making a piranha plant, by the way. Which, honestly, I should just be doing that. Oops. Maybe we'll do a piranha plant uh, when the new, the new Super Mario movie comes out. We'll start to get a little bit more Mario going on in here. I also really got to do a, a Kirby before the end of the year. Oh my gosh, I got so much to do. So much to do, so little time. I want to make everything... I think this last one, okay, so here's what I think I'm going to do for this last stitch. I think I'm going to sew this stitch in there and then come out through the inside of it. Okay. So first off, we'll come up through right here, right this part. end to pull it through so we can double knot it to something on the inside like right here I'm really digging this music
Right now it's just a scary Pac-Man. It does kind of look like a spooky Pac-Man. Pac-Man is scary. Pac-Man's so scary, he eats ghosts, dude. Like, how badass do you get? Sorry, pardon my French, but... Also. To be a Pac-Man? He's eating ghosts! Okay, that first knot is a little weird. But, eh, it's not that bad. It's actually, it's actually not that bad at all. Oh, he's looking pretty cute. We're definitely going to have to do detail up here because I think I want this to be the top and this to be the bottom because otherwise it kind of looks like he's frowning, but this way he kind of looks like he's smiling, and I like that more. So we'll have to do more detail on the top of it, but that's all right. We'll get there soon. Front loop fellow. What did you miss? Oh, my gosh. Guys, he missed it. I can't believe I can't believe you missed it, Front Loop Fellow. There was a gremlin that burrowed through the wall and stole all of our yarn. We then had to fight it off in the live stream. If you go back on the live stream, you probably can see it happening and uh, it was crazy it was crazy they were screaming and yelling everywhere didn't that happen definitely that definitely happened you missed it sorry um okay zoe yes we do have a pattern for the ghosts that pac-man eat it's basically this but a different color and it makes the eyes and stuff um i think i might have it actually I don't know, I don't know where it is, but it's somewhere around here. Um, but the ghost, the, we actually have a ghost like series. So you can make ghastly, uh, boo, little classic ghost, and then uh, Pinky from uh, from uh, from Pac-Man. Um, and there's a kit, there's a kit for these. So if you wanna get a kit, you can. All right, so we got the mouth sewn on. Next, we're going to make uh, add the, let's add all their teeth. Let's add the teeths. Now there's a lot of these little dudes, so we're just gonna take it one at a time. I think I remember when I add the teeth, I always wanna start in the front, so I go one, and then two, three, because there's 12 total, so it's one there, and then one, two, three, yeah. So we're gonna start right here. Come off about through one part, one, and then through there. The teeth are actually not too, it's not like they're difficult to, to sew on. It's just kind of, just like the rest of it, just kind of a little bit tedious. So you should just go boop, boop, and that's the tooth. And then we just double knot it right here and just cut it close. One. And two. Cut. Boop. One tooth sewn on. Beautiful. <laughs> One. The raptor pattern came out. If you looked at the, um, actually the email notification for this video, I actually talk about it in there. The raptor pattern came out, uh, like, Last night, I think, two nights ago. Actually, I think two nights ago. I think I said it was last night, but I think it was two nights ago. <laughs> and the volcano pattern should be out uh, pretty soon too. We're we're adding it to the website like right now. There's two teeth. We're gonna have a lot of a lot of extra threads that we'll need to use to sew things together with later. I mean, you know, to stuff things with later. <laughs> what
What do you guys think of the orange backdrop, by the way? I thought, it's perfect. It's fall colors. It's kind of, it's like, it is orange, but it's also kind of like a dark orange, which I really like. I don't really like, like, that neon orange color that kind of gives you a headache. <laughs> Just put on buck teeth. <laughs> yeah. Save you some time. I like it. I like it. Nerdy. A nerdy carnivorous plant. Um, uh, actually, I only eat organic humid. Uh, if you have ingested any chemicals, uh, that's... I'm sorry, I can't do that. It's... I only eat non-GMO human beings. So, uh... No Botox, uh, no, uh, if you've had McDonald's before, sorry, I can't eat you. non GMO only, please. Uh-oh, Echo Cat has been attacked by gremlins. Gremlins took their crochet hook. Isn't that just the way? The second you put it down, you're like, for me, uh, it's mostly, it's not crochet hooks, it's the needles. Whenever I put a, a needle down, I'm like, where did I put the needle? <laughs> Again, if you haven't yet, please like, subscribe, and also consider getting this crochet kit or this pattern. It's on sale today! And enter the giveaway. Uh, it should be a pinned comment or in the description on how to enter. You basically just comment on this on an Instagram post. When will the Jack Bat When will the Jack Gurgle pattern come out? I'm planning on coming out with that as the first pattern in the new year. Um, that's that's my plan. So that being the January crochet kit uh, is kind of what my plan is, but we'll see how it goes. Man down. Who'd we lose? Oh, man down over here. Good boy. He's getting tired. You know, he's a zombie. He. he he gets tired really quick. He's late. He doesn't have that much. He needs his, he needs his strength. <laughs> See you later, Lachlan. I don't know if you're still here, but yeah. I, yeah, Nicole has been... Uh, Nicole is our, my business partner. Uh, and yes, they have been poked by one too many hidden needles in this office. I know where they're at. There's, look at that, look at that. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful white pearly teeth. Gorgeous even, gorgeous. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, right? Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then seven, right here 
I'll tell you one thing that really sucks about getting old. Little fact. Little fact. Because uh, I don't know if you guys know, but I'm getting old. Er. Uh, it's happening every day. I'm noticing it every day. I'm like, oh my god. I'm older than I was yesterday. Anyhow. One thing that sucks about getting old is nose hairs, dude. What? Yeah. I get so many nose hairs, and I'm like... Tickle. I hate it. Ooh, I like this one. Kind of sounds like the Avatar song. Bum, 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 bum. By the way, if you, I don't know who here is a fan of Avatar Last Airbender, um, but it should be every single one of you. And <laughs> uh, they're making an Avatar Last Airbender movie. I'm so excited. They've never made an Avatar The Last Airbender movie before, okay? Do you understand? There, there's never been one before. Don't even look it up because it doesn't exist. And don't go and tell me, oh, oh, I heard about this one by some dude, M. Night Shyamalan. No, that didn't happen. I don't know what you're talking about. No such thing. Also, I watched the trailer today for the new, um, there's a new Mario movie coming out, Super Mario Brothers. The mo the trailer was underwhelming, uh, mostly because it's like, so Chris Pratt is the voice of Mario, right? Uh, and it's kind of like, I don't know, it just kind of sounds like Chris Pratt, you know? It's just kind of like, but it's Mario. You should have, why didn't you have, the guy that does Mario's voice do Mario. I don't know. Because <laughs> celebrities, I guess. Jack Black is Bowser, though. And I gotta say, Jack Black uh, sounds great as Bowser. It seems like he's put on a, like, a voice for it and stuff a little bit more. And I kind of dig it. I kind of dig him as Bowser. Also, I just love Jack Black. Like, who doesn't like Jack Black? Jack Black is cool. Cool dude. Yeah, <laughs> dude, Zoe, one hundred percent. You are gonna get whiskers. It. I feel like, I feel like the old. Like every every day that I get older, I find a new hair in a new place, and and you know less hair in the places where there should be hair. And I'm like, what's happening to me? I'm changing. It's like I'm a werewolf or something. Almost got all the teeth sewn on, which is great. Face sewn together is gonna be a good part to be at. And then we can start working on the leaves and stuff. You guys hear Jimbo? It's like, I want to say hi. Maybe after we finish this face, we can have just a quick little Jimbo break. And everybody can say hi to this fluffy, fluffy cat that needs attention. And then we can get back to it. We'll just finish adding the teeth and the tongue. And then we'll, and then we'll have our Jimbo break. Two more. Two more teeth. And then the tongue. Alice thinks the background's a little too orangey. Well, it's pretty orangey, so I get it. I needed something other than white. Uh, I don't really, it's hard to see certain yarn on the on a white background, so this orange one really like makes things pop. Plus it's Halloween time, baby. It's time for a little orange. A little pumpkin color, ooh. 
sleepy eyes. They're, I'm not sleepy, but my eyes are like, are you sure about that? <laughs> All right. Ooh, I just remembered too, we need a pipe cleaner. I totally forgot about the pipe cleaner. Maybe I'll use wire instead this time. Since it needs to be a little stronger. I don't know, we'll try it. We'll see how it works. All right. One, there we go. All right. Teeth are sewn on, tongue, and then a jumbo break. <laughs> Cat says egg yolk on, Cat's got egg yolk on her PJs. And I think that's a really good lyric for a song. Egg yolk on my PJs. What a mess. Oh wait, what about? Egg yolk on my PJs. I feel like a mess these days. Got it. All right. One. Oh wait, you know what? One more thing I want to add before we Heed the, heed the call of the Jimbo is I want to add a little bit of uh, like the other detail on the other side of the head because we only have detail on this side. So I want to add detail on this side. With, with a green yarn and a smile on our face. Ugh. Egg yolk on my PJs. I'm feeling like a mess these days. I don't know where to go with that song after that, but it's a good start. One, two. One, two. Skip that one. One, two. Let's do that. The yolk's on you. Wait, the Jimbo break, says Zoe, out loud, so that everyone can hear you. <laughs> Zoe demands the Jimbo. <laughs> Did you hear him? He's like, I request an audience with Zoe. That's what Jimbo's saying. It's like a fancy, fancy prince or something. I request an audience with 
Zoe, please. And have you watched the show Bee and Puppy Cat? I really like it. It's on Netflix. Big fan. From one of the, not creators, but I think they were an animator maybe, uh, on Adventure Time. It's very cute and weird, but I like it. Okay, hold on, hold on Jimbo. I just need to stuff this in. Hold on. No, I don't wanna. Okay, hold on. There we go. All right, that is our head done. There's the top of the head. All right, we're gonna put this to the side and... Okay, Jimbo. Come here, come here. Come on, come on. Oh, say hi to your adoring fans. Say hello, Jimbo. Here, we'll turn this down a little bit. Hey. What? What? Oh, you're a little, you're a little sniffly, aren't you? Where are you gonna go? Cat. Cat. <laughs> what? I'm laughing at you because you're sniffly. What? You're just here to headbutt. Hi, buddy. Oh my god. You're so cute. Lick, lick, lick. This is what he does all the time. I'm always consistently covered in Jimbo spit. Yes. Thank you. Wow. And then I wipe the spit on you. Spit, spit, spit. And I wipe it on your head. Perfect. Good boy. What a good boy. All right. Was that enough? Can I get back to work? Honestly, he'll fall asleep here. He'll fall asleep like this if I let him. Yeah. Okay, we're going to let you go. Sorry. That was enough. That was enough. Don't take a jimbo break. All right, that's a good Jimbo break. Please sell Jimbo spit. <laughs> All right, cat. I'll get into I'll I'll get into the Jimbo spit uh, market. Let's turn that back up. Perfect. All right, guys. Let's get back to it. The next thing we want to do is um. Okay, we either need to crochet the leaves or we need to start working on the. The pot part. Let's do. I got Jimbo fur in my mouth. Da, 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 da. I call them Jimbo spores because they're not even fur. It's spores. He's creating more little ones of himself. The sunflower guy right here. His name is Sunshine. Oh, you can't see him. This one. Right there. His name is Sunshine. He's very cute. And the person who supported Sunshine, so that Sunshine is out, was Cooper. <laughs> I think. Ha! Ah. Stay. Good boy. All right. Back to it. All right. Let's, um, yeah, let's play with the, uh, Insert. Let's see if we can figure out how to make this insert thing. First thing I want to do is I think we kind of need to wash this out a little bit. It's got some dirt in it. So I'm just going to wash this out and throw it outside real quick. Be right back. I'm literally just filling it with like a little bit of water. All right, I think that'll do. I just filled it with a little water and now I'm wiping it down with a little paper towel. Okay. 
Boom. Cleanish. Next, we want uh, a little bit of this weird tape. Okay, we're gonna need this. Uh, and this is gonna be because I'm gonna put it around the edge on the inside as like a lip so that the insert that we make doesn't go too far in. And then we need some cardboard. There's our cardboard. And then we need a pair of scissors. And it'd be nice to have a pen or a pencil. We'll do a pen because that's what I have. I'm gonna start like this and we'll draw a circle around it. We're gonna cut smaller than the circle. So that fits in there, right? So we're gonna cut this circle, but slightly smaller. So we'll go like, into about like there. time getting started there we go it's not very good cardboard but it doesn't matter that much right hopefully we're gonna cover it in yarn and stuff anyhow not very good cardboard even worse scissors Pairing. It's okay, kinda. All right, that's pretty good. Yes, if you get this kit, it does come with a pot. It comes with a much smaller pot, but it does come with a pot. Oh, it's not small enough. We need it even smaller than this. I don't want to ruin my good scissors. there. Show that. Even smaller than that. Okay. All right. That's all right. That's all right. Let's do it again. One more time. This is it. We're going to go in that far. That's our goal. to be but okay that's all right we're gonna make it work see the goal here is we're gonna cover it in something anyhow and we're gonna put a little insert on the inside so that it doesn't fall that far in um, let's just try it I'm using this thicker like weird thick tape so I'm just gonna kind of try to go I don't know if this is gonna work but we're gonna try it anyhow um, let's just try a little bit of it first I'm gonna try to go just like a little farther in, like right like that. Like that, and the idea here is we're making, we're trying to make a lip. That our pot insert will 
stick to, not stick to, but like it'll make our pot insert stop. Right there. And like that is what I'm thinking. Yeah, it stops it on that side. Let's try a little bit more on the other side and see if it works. If it doesn't, I mean, we'll just peel it off and whatever. We tried. This is double sided too, so we can add a little bit more of like depth to certain parts of it, maybe. I don't know. We'll try different ideas. This is not the end piece. It's not bad. Hey, look at that. It holds it. That'll work. Okay, so we're just gonna make a crocheted piece that goes on top of this, sew on all of our stuff on top of it, and then we can pick it up and it'll open up the pot and then you can put stuff under it. That's the idea. That's the idea there. I'll keep this part and uh, let's continue on to, yeah, let's sew on, let's make this part actually. What time is it? It's five, we have an hour or two left. Hopefully just one. Let's do, um, yeah, okay, let's skip this, or let's come back to this and move on to the leaves since uh, they're a little bit more important for us to do, I guess. Uh. Yeah, we could definitely do multiple ones in the pot for sure. Um, but, before we do that, let's let's get into doing the leaves first. Ouch, I hit my hand. All right. Okay, now here's the thing. In this pattern, I have it like a specific, well. Yeah, we'll keep with it. We'll do, we'll do what it says. I guess we'll do what it says. Oh, look, see, I hurt my hand. Owie. I'm dying now. One. Oh, Naughty Flowers, thank you. I've been meaning to message you. Um, Naughty Flowers helps with translating uh, patterns into Spanish. Thank you. And thank you so much for the support. Here, let's put something out for you, Naughty Flowers. Let's do... Ah, I know. Of course. For Naughty Flowers. A little vampire finger puppet. We'll put, we'll put him next to our ghost. Beautiful. It's a bell. One, two. Mini Pico. Double crochet. Mini Pico again. We need to make two of these. Half double crochet one. And single crochet two in the end, okay. All right, turn the piece 180. you Wendy hope you're having a great day glad to see this live cool cool I'm glad you made it how's your day been not the crocheting hand I know right I damaged my own crochet hand 
Oh, hey, quick uh, shout out again. If you uh, just came in a little later, we are doing a giveaway today. Um, you just got to comment on my last Instagram post. I put a link in the description of this video and uh, it's also at the top of the chat. You should need a comment with a, uh, an emoji of a flower. That's it. It's pretty, pretty easy giveaway. And look at that leaf. Oh, what a cute little leaf. All right, we're gonna use this leaf. Pull this through. We're gonna hide this end all the way back down. And we're gonna make another one of these. We need two small leaves and five of the large leaves, which is kind of crazy. Um, the large leaves are gonna take us a sec, I think. I am afraid. But we can make the ones on the head first and then attach them, and then we can make the ones on the body a little later. It's not really the body, it's like the base of the the base of the plant. Come on. There we go. Hello, Adon's world. How are you? go and now we have these two ends at the very end of it too these are gonna go on the sides okay one and we'll do one over here and then we're gonna do two big ones on the top and the bottom let's go ahead let's make another let's just make another small one while we're at it and then we'll move on to the big one because we got a lot of these to make four five Six, seven, eight. It needs your go your ghost needs googly eyes. Ain't that just the way? Who here? Who in the chat believes in ghosts? Actually, you know what? Let's ask. I'm gonna ask a poll. Let's do a poll. Real quick poll. I'm just curious. There's no wrong answer. There we go. I'm curious. Do you believe in ghosts? I don't think I do. I believe in like things we don't understand, but I don't know if I believe, I, I've never seen one, you know? And even if I did, I feel like I would find an excuse for why it's not a ghost but I want to believe in ghosts I think that's cool I just don't think I do you know it's like one of those it's like one of those kind of things I don't know what do you think do you believe in ghosts Don't know. Your cat does? Yeah, my cat definitely believes in ghosts. No question there. Naughty Flower says totally. Now, what about angels? I don't. I don't believe in angels. I don't think. I don't think so. Eh. Who knows though? You know? Who knows? Now, aliens. Aliens, I definitely believe in. There's gotta be aliens. Gotta be. What ghost would be cool? I would like to never be a ghost, though. Being permanently stuck here until you figure out what it is you need to do to go move on. That doesn't sound like fun. 
That sounds difficult and frustrating. Ooh, Cat, Cat says, what are my thoughts on Breath of the Wild 2? I think it's gonna be awesome. I am so, so excited about Breath of the Wild 2. Cause like, oh my gosh, how exciting is that? It's just so exciting. I wanna play it so bad. Jules and I wanna replay Breath of the Wild 1 uh, while we're waiting for the second one to come out. Which we've already both played twice, so. <laughs> but yeah, I'm very, very, very excited about it. I think, like, there's, like, things in the sky and stuff, and it's going to be underground caverns, new enemies, new story. I am so excited. It sounds so cool. Yes, give it to me. Gimme, gimme, gimme. P gimme, please. Angels and demons are just good and bad aliens. Now there is a hot take, Naughty Flowers. By the way, Zoe, Zoe says, Zoe believes in unicorns. I think, you know what? Throughout the history of time, there's gotta be something that was close-ish to a unicorn, right? One, two, three, four, six, eight, nine, ten. I mean, rhinos basically are unicorns. Hot take. Rhinos are basically unicorns. They're just not as pretty as you were expecting, but whatever is, you know? One mini Pico. And a double. And a triple. Another mini. weird thing on this triple crochet to see if this will work one two three oh yeah that looks great basically I did triple crochet but I worked my stitches into the other triple crochet so that it would like hold together and I wouldn't have to worry about a big hole I think it worked pretty well actually Narwhals are also underwater unicorns. That's a that's just a fact. Narwhals the snar there. <laughs> narwhals are so cool. I like narwhals a lot. Hard to say though. Nerves. There should be a cartoon about narwhals. I can't believe there never was a. I I don't remember any cartoons about narwhals. There should have been one. With each one has the different powers, like like Care Bears or something. Get on it, Nickelodeon. Give me my narwhal cartoon or give me death. I ask you for this, Nickelodeon. Now that's, now that's a leaf. This a leaf is aloof. So we've been getting a lot of squirrels recently around and they run across the the roof and it's so cute. You just hear like pitter patter pitter patter pitter patter like running across. It's adorable. I love it. 
just in the middle of the day. But last night they were running around and like, it, I stayed up really late last night, like way too late. I think I stayed up to like 4.30 because I'm a doofus. And also I was playing too much Splatoon because I love Splatoon. But aside from that one, um, yeah, I was staying up really late. And at like 3 a.m., I heard, what the heck was that? You know? And uh, it turned out it was probably squirrels. I hope it was squirrels. It was squirrels or it was a demon. Honestly, 50-50 shot. It could have been either one. That's a good leaf. That's a good leaf. Uh... How do you enter the giveaway for the gift card? Good question, Ina. Ina, I can barely see your your thumbnail, but it looks like you have very nice hair. Um, <laughs> how do you enter the gift card giveaway? All you have to do is comment on the Instagram post that I posted with an emoji of a flower. It can be any flower emoji that you want. But that is how you're going to enter the giveaway. Uh, I put the link in the description of this video. And it also is a pinned uh, at the top of the chat. So you can enter the giveaway either way. All right, we're going to make one more of these big leaves. And then we're going to sew it onto the head. The rest of the big leaves we'll probably make after we make uh, the body and it attached to the, to the rest of it. But... We'll see. Ten. Two. Dubova, how are you? Amazing. Well, thank you so much. Oh my God, Zoe, that is the cutest thing I've ever heard. Zoe said that there's a squirrel that shows up on their patio and just starts sneezing a bunch. How cute is that? That's adorable. Maybe, it, maybe it's asking you for something. You got extra mucinex for that squirrel? They, they're just looking for some Kleenex. And you're just laughing and thinking that's so cute. And this poor squirrel is like, please, I just want some Kleenex. <laughs> poor squirrel. Zoe doesn't take her seriously. Squirrels are so cute. Faux show. I posted a new TikTok today and it is so, I like it a lot. I'm gonna post it on Instagram tomorrow uh, and I'll post it on YouTube over the weekend. But it's very cute and I like it and I think you should check it out. It's a, it's got a, the little raptor. It's like a little video, a little TikTok I did of the raptor. I don't know, just letting you know, it's cool. You'll see it soon. It's very simple. All right, let's end this poll. Who believes in ghosts? How many people believe in ghosts? 73% of you believe in ghosts? Wow, I'm in the minority. By a long shot, my goodness. I didn't realize. Jules definitely believes in ghosts as well. She's got a few ghost stories.
Okay, this is the last leaf we're gonna be making for a second. Almost done. We're gonna add it to our head, to the back of our head. And then we'll, I guess we'll work after this on the, um, on the insert for the for the uh what's it called for the 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 the, the pot and then we'll add it to it and i might add the rest of the leaves and stuff on after the live stream since it's already 5 15 and i think i don't know we'll try to go till maybe 6 maybe 6 30 today um i want to get as far as we can obviously but we'll see how it goes you know who knows Maybe maybe it'll go way quicker than I think. And I'll be done in 10 minutes. No, I won't. I will not be done in 10 minutes, and that's okay. Again, shout out. This pattern and crochet kit are on sale today. 15% off of the kit. 25% off of the pattern. Pattern's got a full video tutorial, and it's a great way to just support this channel. So if you'd like to support what's going on here, and you want to see more cool patterns like it, go buy, go buy something from me. Help me out. Help us out. We spent a long time doing all these things. It'll be very nice. Okay, that's it. Thank you. All right, now we're gonna add this onto the head. So we're gonna do one part, actually I think we'll go one part and then the other part there. Up here. This one? Let's try this. Actually, let's try this one. Like that. I'll just go out somewhere on the outside. Ah, scissors. Skizzies. <laughs> You're waiting at a cast register. Anything exciting happening? Yes, so much, so much excitement. I can hardly contain my. I died. I'm dead. D E D dead. Yeah, the alien plant bit my finger. Here, see? That's all because of this plant, you know? Oh my gosh, I didn't think about that. Oh my gosh. It's gonna get a taste for human blood. It probably already has a taste for human blood. Human meat. All right, one leaf sewn on. Tuck it, tuck it, tuck it. There we go. Big old leaf on the, that is gonna be the top of the head. No, that's the bottom of the head, like that. Now we need one on the top here and then two on the sides. Do we do the sides first and then the top? Yeah, yes we do. Because then we can have the top leaf slightly going over the bottom ones. That's a good idea. I probably should add, you know what, before I do that any further, let's add the wire that we need. Just because I think it'll be a good idea in the long run. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna use a long wire. Um, normally I use a pipe cleaner, but my pipe cleaners, I'm running out, of, I'm almost out. So we're gonna use a wire instead. Which is fine because it'll give us more strength for our piece anyhow. Um, the only thing I'm worried about is like winding this wire up it might be kind of tough. So we're gonna see how see how we can do this best. Um, I think I have another pair of pliers somewhere that we might need. We're gonna go through go through here. 
and here, like just like that. Pretty simple. Right? Well, that, yeah, that'll be fine. Like that, and then I'm gonna fold the pipe, the wire in half. Like this, really tight, and then we're just gonna start to wind it up. Hopefully, shoot, this might be, this might, this might not work. You know what? Maybe we are doing a pipe cleaner route. This seems like it's gonna be a mess and maybe ruin our project. So, how do I take this out? There we go. <laughs> Just kidding, no wire. I gave up on it. I found pipe cleaner. I found I found green pipe cleaners even. I know what you think you're thinking, wow. Lou gave up on that wire so quick, but if I spent any more time on it, I had a feeling it was gonna ruin my piece and I did not wanna ruin it. So we're going wire. So we're going pipe cleaner instead. It's easier to deal with. And I want to. Itchy eyeballs. There we go. All right, there's our wire. It'll work. Try to twist it enough so it's got a really strong wire on it. And when we sew it on, we're gonna try to sew it so that the head isn't so like wobbly, you know? actually add a second pipe cleaner to really bolster the strength of it since we're gonna be picking it up from the pipe cleaner a lot to open our piece up I don't know what do we think about that so that this will see how it's kind of like droopy if I can add another one on maybe it'll strengthen our pipe cleaner a little bit more let's try it I found a whole bag of these pipe cleaners, so you don't have to worry too much about it being, you know, not having enough of them. Let's try like going under this part. pretty good and then we'll just wire this part to that part it'll be a super thick wire it's gonna be fun to cover this in yarn later too Ooh, uh the hat patterns are at clubcrochet.com slash i think just slash hats um, if you go onto the website and just search hats, I'm sure you'll find them as well. 
You're talking about the mini hats, right? I'm pretty sure you're talking about the mini hats. Normally I put this on the end of a of a needle so that I can like easily poke it into the whatever we're making it to, but because we want to like pull our piece up by the top of this, we can't do that. So we're going to um, instead have it just be physically attached to whatever we make to go into the insert of the part of the of the pot. Okay, let's sew on these other leaves onto the sides of it. this then okay. this boom Good. All right, that'll be relief number two. I want to do four around the head. texted me. Love you, Mom. I'm in the middle of something, but I love you, Mom. They are in, uh, my parents are in on the East Coast right now, watching the leaves and going to check out the leaves. Going to, I think they're in D.C. now. Going to the um, National Museum. Just having a good vacation. Must be nice to be retired. One day, maybe. I don't know. I'm I'm a millennial. I feel like millennials will never be able to retire. So we sew it on right there. Make sure we sew it on right there. Yeah, we'll do it so it's higher up. So we're going to go one, two. Almost there with the leaves around the outside, and then we could just add one more there. And then we'll start working on the pot insert. Pretty good, not bad. so far one two 
one. That. Oops. Oopsies. There we go. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. And then this one goes into here, up to there. Oh, Galaxy Wolf, thank you so much. I got a new, I got, seriously, I got a really good short coming up in, it's only, literally, it's a seven second, I don't even think it's like seven seconds short, but I just think it's so funny to me. I'm posted, I'll post it this weekend. But thank you so much for joining. If you haven't subscribed yet, you definitely should. Ha. <laughs> it reminds you, a Little Shop of Horrors, wow. Yeah, definitely not modeled off of that at all. All right, so <laughs> we got the head done. Pretty good, pretty good. Now we're gonna make the uh, the part that connects to, or the, the insert for the pot. So we're just gonna crochet a big circle basically. And I'm just gonna make this up as I go. I think it's just gonna be pretty simple. Like I'm not gonna make it too complicated. because we're hopefully gonna cover it in vines and stuff later, maybe after the live stream, but who knows. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Run it tight. Actually, I think we, I think we probably can make it this live stream, but we'll see. One, two. Okay, so this is just gonna be a lot of just crocheting. Just going around in a circle for a while. Let's see, I wonder how long it'll take me to make this. Probably not too long. Since I've done, I've probably made like, like a couple of thousands of these. <laughs> Or you're just single crocheting in a circle. I've made so many things that are made that way. Hi, Sheree. How are you? How's your day going? Oh, I want a barbecue. Oh, man. You're making me hungry, Latchlin. Oh, really? Well, welcome to the live stream. Every live stream's a little bit different than the last. This one we are crocheting a uh, the our carnivorous alien planter. But uh, last week we did like a kind of like a we made dinosaurs and we got to like customize them and stuff. It was pretty fun. This one's this one's a more I would say a more straightforward live stream. I think that was the end of our playlist. We're just gonna go ahead and put on again since I can't tell the difference between the songs that much anyhow <laughs> well, what are you up to Sheree you crocheting you doing uh Work? What are you what are you up to today? How's your day going? Okay, maybe a couple more rounds of this. 
We're gonna do it a little bit longer than it, and then we're gonna sew it on all the way around. And then uh, we're gonna make it taller too, so we're gonna stuff it a little bit. And then we're gonna put that in it. Actually, we probably should put it in it and connect it before we sew this onto the cardboard. Making pumpkins, new pumpkin. I'm gonna have a new pumpkin crochet pattern uh, next week, actually. So if you're looking for a pumpkin crochet pattern coming out next week, it's super duper easy. I made it almost a no-sew pattern, except for the leaf. You do have to sew a leaf on, but it's more like attaching the leaf than really sewing it on. I'm really excited about it. Um, I'm supposed to record it tomorrow. I'm pretty stoked. Pretty stoked. Two. Five, six. Whew. This is this is becoming a workout for my arms. I bet you I have like right here is my muscle for that I could feel being used for crochet. I bet you it's so strong. Look at that. Got a strong muscle right there. Now my biceps are weak as heck, but that is a strong muscle. <laughs> my my biceps and the majority of my body are super weak, but not that single muscle. Okay, a couple more rounds. Buff Louie. <laughs> so buff. So buff. Look at how buff I am. Where's the witch? In a box of crochet. Like, there's a big, uh, big box of crochet there, and it's somewhere in there. I don't know where. Okay, this is getting there. Two more rounds probably, and then a round of single crochets. You know, this will go right in the center. You know, I think this will actually fill in a lot more of this than we think it will. <laughs> so I don't think we'll actually need two of these. I think we can do just one. Hey, Gabrielle, you like to crochet. Well, guess what? Me too. I love it. It's the best. What do you like to crochet, Gabrielle? I mean, you know what I like to crochet. Amy Gurumi. Love them. But also, I've been really getting into granny squares recently. I know. But I have. And I've been making some really cool granny squares. Six, seven. We needed them for our um, our couch. I needed to make like a little couch cover because our because Jimbo keeps scratching the couch up, and that is going to be a no go for me, bud. So I made a couch cover, and it totally worked. But now I need to make one for the other side of the couch because now he's scratching the other side. Seven. 
do I only crochet or do I also knit? I personally only crochet, but my fiance, my partner, she is a knitwear designer and she is extremely good at knitting. So she takes up all the knitting for the house and I deal with all the crochet. She's really good at knitting, seriously. Very, very good. If you are, if you like to knit, look up Knit by Jules, K-N-I-T-B-Y-J-U-L-E-S. That is her uh, Instagram handle and everything. And check her stuff out. She makes really cool patterns. All right, Kat, thanks so much for joining. Sorry it's so late there. <laughs> Bell Not Whistles is, is currently in chicken noodle soup. Just sitting in it. Are you the chicken in the noodle soup? Is it the music? The music is very chicken noodle soupy. Oh, you're making it. Fine. Are you making enough to go into it to take a bath of chicken noodle? Mmm. I love it when chicken noodle soup gets into all of my pores. I love it when I'm picking out noodles out of my hair a week later. Mmm, chicken noodle soup. One, two, three, four. <laughs> uh, eight. We're running out of yarn here, so hopefully this will be long enough. Yeah, I think it'll get there. And then we'll just, yeah, we'll just sew it together. Put some stuffing in there. It'll be perfect. We will need more brown yarn. Okay, that's fine. I have it. It's right. Where did I put it? I used it last night. Oh, here. Yeah. Normally this pot insert isn't as big as it is, so I use the same amount that's in the crochet kit. So that's as, I think that's as wide as we're gonna get it. I mean, I guess we could go one more wide, but, or we could just do single crochets and then we could just sew it on. What do we think? Why don't we do a round of half, like increasing every other stitch, so one. That's what we'll do. Split the difference. Like this. Ooh. Oh, we gotta do that again. There we go. I actually don't think we need to do another round after this though. I think this will be big enough. When did I start crocheting? I started crocheting in high school, um, about 15 years ago now. Uh, I think I was 15 or 16 when I started. I uh, started because, well I started to get just really crafty in high school in general. I started making things for friends. And then uh, I started crocheting actually because, well, 
there was this girl I had a crush on and I wanted to crochet her stuff and yeah long story short the relationship was terrible but I got crochet out of it um yeah that's when I started crocheting and I started designing pretty shortly after I would say within about a year of crocheting I started to get really into designing my crochet which is a pretty fun thing to do if you ask me see so we're gonna do it just like on top of this fill it with stuffing we're, I think we'll probably attach everything to it before we sew it together um, well at least we're gonna attach this our, our main piece to it and I'll just do a couple more stitches just so we can get away from that that one's fine pull it through all right we got our dirt center it's gonna go right there fill it with stuffing we're gonna put it into our insert that we're making just like that and this is gonna go right on top of it, right like that. See? That's pretty good. And then when we pull it up, we'll have a little secret compartment that we can put things in. Pretty cute. Do I crochet for a living? Yes, this is my full-time job now. So if you wanna support, you can. Uh, you can support by purchasing kits and merch in the store you can tip you can become a club crochet member all are great ways to help support this channel if you are interested in supporting it would be very much appreciated no question there okay one thing one more thing i want to do before we continue before we wind this up with yarn is i want to grab a um a Okay. Sorry about that. I wanted to grab a toothpick because I want to put a toothpick into the center and up the piece just a little bit as we wrap it in yarn. So that way it holds it even tighter, like held up like that, you know? So that way it like stays upright a little bit more. I think that's gonna be pretty useful. Okay, so next we want to sew, well, actually I'm just gonna go around this with this for a second, just so it keeps it there. Next we're gonna put yarn all the way around that. So we want our green yarn. I get my yarn uh, wholesale. So I get it um, f directly from the companies uh, that, and we use it to make our crochet kits. We're actually starting contact with the, a company so that they, we can get our own yarn made. And we can have Club Crochet branded yarn, which is pretty exciting. But yeah, now you can see what I'm kind of doing here. I'm just wrapping it up. I'm actually gonna go ahead and cut this just a little bit. Ooh, I'll find that one day. And, <laughs> and yeah, we're just going to be wrapping around both the, uh, both of these things simultaneously as I work our way up the body. We're wrapping around this pipe cleaner to keep it hidden in. And you'll see we're going to go all the way up to the top of it, and then we're going to do this all the way back down to give our vine as like to make it a little thicker 
This? No, this is from this guy. He bit he bit a little bite into me, Zoe. <laughs> Do I crochet bigger things like sweaters? Uh, I haven't, but I want to start getting into that next year. I think I'm going to start getting into new designs um, and stretching my limbs away from amigurumi just a little bit. I'm still going to obviously be crocheting a lot of amigurumi, but yeah. Oh, Christina, you're crocheting pumpkins for your wedding? That's so cute. Oh my God, I love that. That must mean your wedding's coming up. Congratulations, how exciting. Me and my fiance just got engaged uh, like a few months ago and we haven't even started planning our wedding yet, but I am nervous about it. <laughs> not about our wedding, not about getting married to her, obviously, but about starting the planning process for this wedding. It's just like, oh my gosh, there's so much to think about. And it seems spooky. Congratulations on getting close to the finish line, though. That's awesome. Way, way cool. And making pumpkins for it. How cute is that? You're going to have hand crocheted pumpkins at your wedding? That's adorable. Just too cute. Too cute to boot. All right, now we're going to wind this back up. And I'm just gonna do it this way. So as I do this, I'm just kind of, I'm making it a mess on purpose. Like I'm trying to uh, make it look more organic by just making it kind of messy as I go down. I'm not trying to make it too like symmetrical. And also trying to get a little bit thicker as I get down to the stock, down to the base of it. That way I'm also covering up as much of that end piece as I can. Now this bottom's gonna be covered in leaves, so we don't have to worry too much about it getting like, having too much of our pipe cleaner showing through and stuff. And plus our pipe cleaners are green, so it's not like too big of a deal. But that's pretty good. That's pretty good. And you'll see, like, we're going to have it, like, winding, like, kind of like a uh, winding around it. Okay. All right, let's double knot these green ones on the inside. can put this directly into the center of our piece of cardboard. Like that. We also can get our Okay. And now what we want to do is we just want to sew this onto our piece of cardboard and then I'm going to stuff it up a little bit. This, should, this part should be interesting. We're not gonna use this needle. We're actually gonna have to use a sharper needle so that we can get in and out of the um, cardboard. So I'm gonna use this little metal one instead. But this should be interesting. I've, I don't usually do things like this, so it should be fun. If we wanted to, we could also cover the bottom up with felt but I don't think we really need it. I mean, I don't know, we'll see at the end. It might be nice, it might be a nice little like thing to add to it, to clap and like, you know, make it a little bit more classy on the bottom, but it might just be like an extra step, you know? 28 days away. Oh my God, that's so soon. Ah, how exciting. So early November, wow, that's gonna be so nice. If you're crocheting a little ghost already, you should totally enter into the Club Crochet Challenge. That is our uh, prompt this month, is 
for a crocheted ghost. So all you have to do is you have to crochet ghost, post a picture onto either Instagram or um, there's a subreddit or there's a Discord channel. You can post it into any three of those places. And we're gonna choose our four favorite ghosts and we're gonna have the community vote on what their favorite is. And the winner between those votes will get a uh, Club Crochet gift card. So you can get a membership and stuff. Um, if you wanna learn more, I put all the instructions at clubcrochet.com slash challenge. So if you're interested in learning more, that's where you should go. I gotta say, this part's kind of fun because it's just, I can feel it adding so much stability to my, to the whole piece. And it's just, it's gonna, I think it's gonna look really nice. You know, oh, nice. But like I said, we can always add felt to it to like kind of make it look a little bit more classy. I don't think we need it though. I don't know. I keep saying that because I don't want to do it. <laughs> when we get a little further, we'll stuff it a little bit too. So that it's got some like kind of lift to it. Hey, Jack, you just posted it? Congrats, good job. Thank you, Jack. Excited to see it. I think I'll start next live stream by showing off a few. So if you get them, if you get your ghost submissions in by next live stream, I'll, we'll talk about them in the, in the live stream. Show off some of, some of people's posts. in there Push this in just a bit. We need to start being a little bit more conservative with where we're adding our stitches here. stitches to work with. I feel like we're halfway through on this, but we're not halfway through on our actual stitches. That's halfway through. So we need that to be like that. Okay. We're going to double up this one. Before, besides recording or streaming, what do you do while you crochet? Do I watch TV or listen to music? I do both. Uh, usually I watch TV. I really like to watch TV while I crochet. Um, movies and shows and stuff like that. 
I also really like listening to podcasts and music and stuff. Sometimes I like to watch Jules play video games or watch other like live streamers sometimes. Not as often. I usually like to watch TV. What do you do? What's your favorite what's your favorite thing to watch while you crochet? Do you have any special preferences? Or is there anything that you absolutely cannot do while you crochet? Like I could not read a book. I mean, obviously, right? I could listen to a book on tape, no problem, but you know, using my I just I wouldn't be able to do it. Will Audrey get any accessories? No, I don't think we'll be adding any accessories today just because by the time we're done with this, like, yeah, we'll be, we'll be going for quite a while. So I don't think I'll have time to add any, any accessories to this beautiful, beautiful plant. Unfortunately. But this is what we're this is what we're looking at right now. Pretty good, honestly. Like it's staying in there totally well. And once we once we add the details to this bottom part too, I think it's, this is going to be a really nice piece. What a what a wonderful gift for someone. Who are we going to give this to though? Who knows? Someone that likes weird things. Someone for Christmas that likes weird things. podcasts so he listens to a lot of podcasts what are your favorite podcasts I know the I know you like the adventure zone and my brother my brother and me just like I do any other ones you really like listening to any suggestions yeah podcast suggestions anybody got any good podcast suggestions okay before we go any further than this I'm gonna stuff this uh, up a little bit This part's gonna be interesting. How we're gonna stuff this up. So I wanna make sure, I obviously do not wanna stuff this too much, but we wanna give it a little bit of lift too, at the same time. Getting somewhere there. It's pretty good. A chill song. Zoe, what a suggestion. Zoe says, Stab in the Back. What an interesting name of a podcast. What is it about? Murder and funny murder. Oh my God, that sounds like totally, totally like Jules's cup of tea. She really likes murder podcasts and she really likes funny podcasts. 
that's a great suggestion potterless what's potterless a harry potter podcast i like harry potter just the zoo of us oh my god these are great podcast names i bet you like half of these podcasts started with the name before the idea of the podcast <laughs> Have in the back. I like that name. I wonder, I wonder, wonder what's in a wonder ball. I wonder what that's about. Stab in the back. Right, you can do a little bit more stuffing now. Baby geniuses. Oh my god, you're naming all these podcasts, but you, you gotta sell me on them. What are they about? Just the zoo of us. I'm gonna guess that's about like taking care of animals. Probably funny. Okay, last, I think this is gonna be the last part where we can stuff it, so let us put it right into there. Pretty good. It's definitely got a bit of a lip. Oh, that looks pretty good. Look at that. That looks great. It holds its spot really well. Oh my gosh, this is looking great, guys. I love it. Baby Geniuses sounds great. Okay, so Baby Geniuses, uh, Stab in the Back, Potterless. Ooh, White Vault, if you want a horror story for Halloween, love that. Garfunkel, what's Garfunkel? Lost at the Smithsonian? Oh my god. I need to write all these down. I'll just come back to the live stream and I'll rewatch the chat, actually. So, hello, past Lou. All right, last bit. We're just gonna go through the same one at the end here. I'm actually gonna go this. back through the center and I'm actually going to double knot to this other end so I'm going to go through just slightly over from it like that. double knot these together and hide them on the inside <clears throat> and then we'll have the base done one and two and then we'll just take both these ends and hide them in song is very chill. I guess the whole playlist is chill. That's the point, right? Come on. Hmm. Is 
background is fighting me for some reason. There we go. Such an argumentative piece of yarn. This last end. I can't believe you still have 50 people watching. Hello, everybody that's still watching. Thank you so much for watching but hey guys also like and subscribe if you haven't yet uh, if we get enough likes we're gonna do another giveaway next live stream just like how we have a giveaway this live stream if you're curious about the giveaway this live stream check out the description of this video all right okay we got the main part we got the inside it's got a long neck but we're gonna we're gonna make it go winding around it so we don't have to worry too much about how long the neck is. Next thing we want to do is we want to add the stuff to this base part, uh, which is just going to be a couple of leaves. So yeah, we just need to make three more leaves and we'll be done. Oh, and, and actually some vines and stuff too. We should probably add some, some other things to it. But yeah, we're going to make this wind around. Like we're, we're going to make, you know what? Let's just do it. We'll make it go like this. So it's a little bit shorter and it also gives it a lot more stability. We'll just have it pointing straight up like that. You know, because he doesn't totally fill this, this thing, but I just really like it. And look, it gives him room for growth. All right, large leaves. Just a few more of these large leaves sewn onto this base part, and I think we'll be done, guys. Amanda, you're crocheting a whale. That's super cool. Hello from Denmark. Hi, Tina. How are you? Ooh, did I develop any superpowers from the alien planet bite? Oh, I'm so curious. I, I wonder what future Lou is going to say about that. Um, I believe this was chain 10. I think I can remember it. Let's see. Thank you, Cooper. You're so sweet. Cooper uh, got all the podcast names for me and gave them to me in Discord. I really appreciate you, Cooper. What are you still doing? Oh, no, you you left and came back. Okay. I was going to say, didn't you have something you wanted to do? Had to do today? Picture day or something? There we go. Three. Yes, yes, yes. Double. Oh my gosh. Uh Tina, you stay up so late for these. You're, I mean, you're really sweet. I'm glad you enjoy it. But it's so late there. Now, I say that, but also I stay up that late, so I, I can't judge. <laughs> I have no right. A fellow night owl like me. Gotta love it, actually. I love staying up late. It's so much fun. Look at that. See? That'll be a good little leaf. It'll fill in it a little bit. We'll add some vines. We're almost done. Trim. 
triple mini I get so eager and excited when we get this close to the end of the live stream. I'm like, yes, I want to see this finished. Yeah, I would say we're about maybe 15 minutes away from the end of live stream. So if you haven't entered the giveaway yet, I, you probably should. I'm not going to be announcing a winner during this live stream. I'll announce it on... Uh, Sunday, but I'll do a community post here to let to let whoever know or to let the winner know uh, And I obviously will message them on Instagram and do another post on Instagram about it. So Don't worry about being notified if you did win I'll make sure that you Know about it Pull this up a little bit All right one leaf one big leaf done right there so I'm just gonna go ahead and start sewing them on once they're done because I'm excited we're gonna do three of these big leaves around the outside though around the outside around the outside and we'll just have the vines coming out through the side as well So both of these are going to come out of the same spot here. So we actually don't need to, we're going to double knot this part together, obviously. Uh, but we're not going to cut it too short because we actually want these vines coming out the outside to add a little bit of additional detail to your piece. Because they'll, they'll hang over, we'll make it so they, they basically hang over the outside like this, just to have some extra something to it like that there we go first leaf on pretty good two more leaves one two okay green yarn I actually think we're gonna have enough green yarn which is pretty cool hi Marie how are you we're having a great day. Let's clean our station up a little bit. Robin. Robin says, I hardly ever see 
anyone actually sewing things on watching you work it's interesting well thank you i i think that's a compliment <laughs> and uh yeah that's something actually i try to do more in my videos because you can always skip the part where i'm sewing things on but if you're having like real sometimes it's tough sometimes you don't know where to sew something exactly on that like you're like oh the designer just says sew this on now and it's like okay but how where like is there a specific spot you want it to be sewn on and so in a lot of my video tutorials um this isn't really one of my video tutorials this is just a uh, like a crochet along but i do have a video tutorial for this and i do show where you're sewing everything on just so you're it's very clear so there's no there's no room for like you know if you have a question the video usually answers it um it's actually helped out a lot in my uh pattern writing it lets me make a lot of patterns and not have to worry as much about people having difficulties with you know this part or that part of the pattern because they can always go back to the video and watch exactly how i do it and it's also kind of fun to crochet it along with the designer i always like i i don't know i i always felt that was kind of part of the fun too it's a compliment okay well i'll take it thank you It's <laughs> Zoe. Zoe said that hot tip. If you're wearing hot pink yarn, I mean hot pink eyeshadow, do not rub your eyes and continue crocheting with white yarn. Don't do it. You know what? That is a that's a hot tip. I'm going to keep that in mind for whenever I am wearing hot pink eyeshadow. I actually I don't think I've ever worn hot pink eyeshadow. I've worn purple eyeshadow before. I remember one time I went to a show uh, in San Francisco with my uh, roommates at the time, Sarah and Kaylin, and they were going as uh, like, they, they wanted to get all glammed up and like nice for this thing. And I was like, you know what? I do too. And so, uh, I got to wear purple eyeliner and some lipstick and I wore a leather jacket and uh, I looked awesome. I was super cool <laughs> in that moment. I remember, I think, I think I got a girl's number that night too. Pretty sure I did. Just goes to show, you know, you just gotta, you just gotta be confident and cool. I guess. I don't know. I got a fiance now, so I don't really have to worry about it. Okay, leaf number two is done. Let's get this sewn on. And then one more leaf. Your ghost is looking fabulous, actually. leaf and then we'll do one more leaf right there we'll go two with the first part There. Let me 
same spot and then we'll pull everything a little tighter. I sewed that one on a little weird, but that's okay. I got self-conscious because Robin was watching. <laughs> that's actually, that's pretty good, I think. Ooh, I have an, I have an idea of something else we need to add in onto this too at the very end very end last edition once we add one more leaf uh and uh, well pr probably some vines too some extra vines some like thicker vines you know but that's pretty good Because I can imagine like a big vine, thick vine here and a thick vine on the back. That'd be kind of cute. Like he's got little arms almost. Okay, one more, um, one more big leaf. Oh, have fun, Casey. Thank you so much for joining and thanks for sticking around the whole stream. I really appreciate it, Casey. I'll see you next Thursday, 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. We're going to be making, uh, Honestly, it'll be up to you. We're gonna be either making zombies or or vampires or something. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, it's gonna be up to the chat on what we're gonna be making next week. We're gonna make it a little bit more, um, you know, user suggested. I am flying through these leaves now that I know exactly how to make them. This is our last leaf. How many zombies should I use in my tiny thriller dance? How many goes for my ghost hunt? Yeah, I agree. I think odd numbers is a good idea. Um, I mean, how many are you willing to make? I think you need like seven for the dance maybe and like five for the ghost hunt. Well, maybe that's a lot for the dance. Maybe only five for the dance. Yeah, as many as possible. Yes, have, you gotta make a zombie horde. You need to make a zombie army, basically. A zom, zom barn, yeah. A zombie army. Zom, zarmy? Mm, there's something there. Oh, 13, yeah, 13's a scary number. Good move, there we go. And through. 
Almost there, you guys. Just wanna do two vines and then I'll be done. After, I mean, we gotta sew this on two first, but after that. Somewhere on the back. You're so close, you guys. pretty short like their little grass pieces popping up sewing up or you know so it's kind of like that maybe i should do that with the other ones too just like little ones instead of them being so long that okay now i just want to do two vines and then we'll be done that sound good two vines one one right here and one right here. We're gonna have them coming out through the side of it and they're gonna be long. So they're gonna kind of be like their arms. I don't know if you can post videos on Discord. Thirteen, fourteen. Let's say fifteen. So like that long, maybe. Let's see if we have it here. Yeah, I want them to go over it. Fifteen. We'll go sixteen, seventeen. We'll do seventeen for the first one. And we're gonna make the top of the vine like have a thicker end and then thinner. Second one. Yeah, and then we'll just do slip stitches for the rest of the vine. So that way it's got kind of like a little handle, like a little thicker end for the end of the vine. We'll see how this goes. We might, might, we might want to make an even longer one for the second arm. Justin's, you're not too late. There's still a chance for the giveaway if you want to enter the giveaway. Link is in the description of this video. All you have to do is comment on my latest Instagram post on the Club Crochet Instagram uh, with a an emoji of a flower, and I'm gonna choose someone at the end of the month or at the end of the week to win a uh, a Club Crochet gift card. Which is kind of a cool way to win a Club Crochet gift card. Okay, well, that one's good. Let's see how this one, let's see how the vine looks. So if we do it right here, yeah, like that. See how it's like kind of hanging over? And we're filling the inside of this a little bit too. Okay, let's sew this on. And then we're gonna do one more of those vines and then we're gonna be done. 
Oh my gosh, I can't believe we finished, we're gonna finish this in this live stream. I can't believe it. I mean, it is a long, long live stream, but still like, come on, like pretty impressive, right? I feel, I feel proud of myself. And I think that's okay. that that's a good vine nice oh my god that looks so good wow maybe if i give it a little bit more of a curve that way though and then we'll do another one right over here honestly that's a pretty good length for it we don't Last one, you guys. Again, I'll be live next uh, week, 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, same place. We're gonna be making Halloween pod puppets or finger puppets. And thank you guys so much for watching. I did not count how many that was. It's a little longer, but that's, I think, okay. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I'll do one. I'll even do one more. Two. What should we keep in this, by the way? What should I keep under it? Candy? That'd be smart. That'd probably be a good idea. Something like that. Something something that... Or maybe band-aids. Because, like, you know, you'll get hurt. And I'll put it in the bathroom or something. Maybe. I don't know. What do you think? What, what, could, we, what could we hide in this? Candy is really not a bad idea, actually. A piggy bank. Interesting. Thanks so much for joining, Jack. Audrey, Audrey would guard the candy. Well, Robin, I mean, if you want to plan ahead of time, uh, it's gonna be, th you know, same time next week, so you know, if you want to try planning ahead and getting all the yarn and stuff that you want prepped before the stream starts, that might not be a terrible idea. We're going to go, actually, we're going to have it come out right here. And then this other one. Yeah, I tried in this, in our last email notification, I tried to like prepare, like let let you know when the next streams are gonna be too. You know, like, like a little bit more like planning in advance. Cause I haven't really been doing that. Cause I'm a bad boy. Put that in, put that in. Oh, that's good.
this is a good one. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Two. Cut these ends kind of short. Oh, moment of truth, you guys. I'm gonna make this fine a little weird. Oh, what a beaut. What an absolute unit. Wow. Pretty good. Not gonna lie. Pretty awesome. And then you just, you, I mean, you can even grab it from the top. Oh, look at that. Look what we made. Oh my God. I'm an artist. Wow. That's really cool. That is really, that is really, really cool. All right, guys, switching cameras. There we go. This is what we made today. Wow. It's a bit, this is a honker. And then all you, you know, you can just pick it up and then we can hide things inside. I think I am gonna fix this up a little bit so it's a little like just nicer on the inside. And I'll probably, I don't know, maybe I'll hide candy. Yeah. Okay, all right. No, you hang up first. No, -uh. you hang up first. Haha, I got I got a lot of people to hang up before me, so haha, -ha, I win. <laughs> Alright guys, love ya. Bye, see you next week. Bye, thank you again to Cooper for moderating. You are great. Okay, bye, hang up first. Okay, bye, hang up first. No, you hang up first. Alright, bye.